that bottle weight boxing champion. And I'm here with my fighter, Dan Sarkozy. On the last session, we covered some of the pros of unlicensed fighting. Now, we're going to cover some of the cons. Dan, what do you think any of the cons are? Or what are the cons? There's a few in there, but Go on. for me, the obvious one is um, the lack of medicals. You can get ex-pros or ex-amateurs who fail a medical, but they can still box in unlicensed boxing, so there's a bit of a safety issue there. Very true. What do you think? If the mix-up as well, you don't like do, but... Yeah, it, the, the confusion for me is it's normally the confusion. You see, when people see boxing, they confuse the two with the unlicensed and professional. Well, they're completely two different separate things, right? Yeah, it's like it's, playing Sunday League football and calling yourself a footballer, like. Yeah, and yeah, comparing it to, to Premier League. They got belts and everything in it, and then belts. they mix it up with proper belts that you've that's won. It. That's it. That's so it. So that's a bit of a con. It takes away from the pro game. Yeah, it does, and it completely undermines the worth of a professional boxing champion or. Like we said, yeah, the British true, or yeah, Commonwealth yeah. professional boxing champion. Guys, tell us what you think. 